So bacteria can travel, right? So people with little tooth infections, you know, so they're at risk, small, but not zero for that infection traveling. And so it's a good idea generally to get them treated. So bacteremias are a real thing, right? So toothaches, they can go through fascial spaces. What that means is for, for if you're not a, you know, a dental professional or whatever, if you have a toothache and you get a little infection, most of the time it's contained within the bone. When it gets out of that space, either through a fistula, like a little pimple on your gums, that's draining, that's usually not as bad. And it's not as painful usually because it's draining. Sometimes it gets beyond that, it gets to the vestibule. And from there it can get to the cheek. That's the buccal space. If it's an upper tooth, sometimes it can get to the canine space, under the eye, side of the nose, upper lip, right? From that space, it can go to the temporal space. It can go internally to the lateral pharyngeal space and cause a breathing issue, right? It can track down into the lungs and cause mediastinitis. Bacteria in the bloodstream can travel remotely into the lung, to the brain. And so that's kind of worst case scenarios, even to the orbit, from the orbit to the brain. So these have all been reported, right? <laughs> 